What's up, people? Welcome back to That Bothers Me podcast. Santino, how are you doing, bud? Dude, it was an eventful week for you. I know for you it was a very eventful week. Well, if you guys have noticed, uh, it may talk a little strange right now. I have braces on my teeth. Dude, it's like railroad construction happening. Like, Dude, I got locomotives coming through, dude. And then they removed a tooth, too. So I have like freaking... R- like trees uprooted. Dry sockets. Do they happening? have blueprints from my mouth right now? Probably. There's so much construction going on. First off, the inside of my lips right now are like freaking sandpaper. Feel like you took an angle grinder. Just. <laughs> then they took out the tooth, and I have freaking a blood clot in there that I feel like I'm gonna rip open at any moment. If you rip that shit open, it's over. You know that, right? So I've been drinking smoothies. I had split pea soup last night. Fudge pudding and applesauce. Your breath smells like you took a ball sack and just <laughs> dipped it in the toilet water. <laughs> it smells so fucking bad. I know. So I can't, I'm not supposed to uh, brush my teeth for the first, it says eight hours. So we're on 24 now. Dude, I feel like if I took anything to this gum line, I'm going to have bleeding. I, I feel mean. like if you walked into somewhere and you talked, people would die. Yeah, probably. Was I loud? Yeah, you're always loud in Both these damn things. people would die. So, anyway, that was your week, Donnie. That sounds lovely. You so, went yeah, so if week. I uh, sound like really weird during this episode, uh, just bear with it, because um, that's all I'm going to talk for a little bit until I get used to it. I had, See, I had braces for four years. Like, that was a stretch. Let me tell you, sixth grade to... You got them for a while, Sophomore dude. year, I was, ch- I was skilled... And how to do that shit. I should have had these probably like 12 years ago, at least. Probably, but you got the clear ones, so it's like yeah. the ceramic brackets you can't see. I had fucking chain link fences. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Oh, that's a lisper. <laughs> that's a fucking lisp. Say cotton swabs. Cotton swabs. Cotton swabs. You know people came to say lisp? If they have a lisp. Yeah, it's a fucking... So they created that word for people that have lisps. They can't say it. You sound like you have problems. I know, because I'm getting used to this thing. Anyways, if you guys are watching, these, cle- these clear braces I have on, like, I don't know, you can't really tell unless you're, like, up close. Obviously, you can tell by my speech impediment I have right now. Yes. yes. But, no, I have for four years. There's a lot. There's difficulties there. Oh, dude. You'll get used to it. Don't you have those? Okay. What else do so, you have in there? So that's this is that was part of the construction going on. Now then, I have cement blocks. Got Jolly Ranchers stuck to the top of my teeth. I hate you know when you're like even a tootsie roll. So you have your mouth, you know, like this, like a freaking shark you're just clamping down on shit. I can only go like about this far, and then it hits the fucking blocks, and I'm like, well, I can't chew. That sucks. Yeah. I don't like that. I never had that. I feel but, like that's worse. I don't know if they can hear that in the microphone, but it's loud in my mouth. Yeah, because it's in your brain. Mm-hmm. Speak about sharks. Oh, dude, I saw you that video today, Newport Beach. There's a little baby shark. Do, 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 baby shark. Dude, what kind of shark was it? I don't know. It looked like more of like a sand shark. Dude, that was a son of a bitch. That thing was just like that was like flopper Balboa, doppers though. on there. They're just like. Just vibing along, dude. Just like a little. Imagine out there. I, I I gotta adjust this mic. This mic's pissing me off. This freaking wind filter I have on here. It keeps going every. Look at it. Look at it. It's like, dude. Stay. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. I think we're kind of good now. But imagine like going out there surfing like a little fucker just like grazes your leg. Tell me. Yeah. I would be a little nervous. Didn't you go surfing the other day and there's like professional? I went, we went surf. I went surfing with my buddy Johnny. So I got to tell you a little story here. So we went surfing. He, he hasn't been in a little bit, um, but we decided to go out. It was so, like the first swell in like months. So the water July. was super flat. Yeah. Like glossy. Like your girlfriend. Super flat. Well, I don't have one. So yeah, it's true. Kind of blows. Um, but the water was really nice. But then waves would just come out of nowhere. Just like four, five foot swells, dude. There was like, I feel like there's some six foot ones. There probably was. They were pumping. But anyways, there's a jetty that goes out, you know? 
they were breaking like right outside the jetty with like a group of 30 people dude there was professional surfers over there they had freaking jurassic park like fucking geo national geographic cameras over there jamie o'brien probably like they're fucking just Stay getting swells over there you anyways think, did you recognize anybody uh, I didn't recognize anybody, but what they look like who is like the couple guys that are ripping what they look like. Just so there was a few dudes? guys that were older. I'd say like they were, they were probably like late forties, maybe, maybe 50. And they were the so ones they were, they were you. There was that. And then there was younger kids. I'd say like younger than, than me, probably in between me and you. Yeah. Probably like early twenties. Mm hmm. And they were just freaking absolutely <laughs> ripping. That's beast. Yeah. But anyways, my buddy Johnny, um, there's there, so there's a break right and mm -hmm. then you you come down backside left yeah and he would just be like right in their way trying to get over the waves and look. these people got so pissed <laughs> and he didn't give two shits that's so funny he didn't give any shits that's bad he, he kept dropping in and like people were already riding the waves and mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, you gotta look to your right. You can't just drop in yeah, on someone. Drop in in front of them. But anyway, it, it was fun. Like we just made our. But the thing is with that is you have to be out there with them by the rocks in order yeah, to catch the them. And I'm you not doing be. that. I'm not trying to get my head blasted by a fucking boulder. Yeah, you have to be out there by the point. Because if you don't, then you can't. And it's just like. But see, I went. So you went on what day? It was a. It was when you had your Thursday. interview. Thursday you went. So on Thursday you went, but you went to 56, right? Correct. See, I went, I went left of 56 on Wednesday to go body surfing with Calvin. Closeouts. Yeah, that left side that day was just all closeouts. Dude, it was f at least four foot with five foot sets coming in. Let me tell you what closeouts are. See, sometimes closeouts are fun if you just take the drop and go, but like sometimes you just get pounded. Like, uh, yeah, I was body surfing, just inside the barrel and just smack the bottom. Don't even know which way is upward. I got work that day. I was so sore. Oh, that's when you called me the next morning. I was like, I was like, I don't feel like going and surfing right now. <laughs> I'm soreness. But anyways, let's uh, transition over. I, I think I mentioned your interview on that day. Oh, I know you did a little. Nice. Um, interview -o well interview in a show with the um that's what a hamburger's all about a little in and out well in and out burger how so, oh shit this mic almost fell how did that go so as you know our last job that we had <clears throat> getting emotional here don't um dude don't cry on camera COVID 19 though. just blasted everybody dude it blasted the world so, bro they got rid of positions at our last job and got laid off over there. So I had to find new. I had to find new employment. Okay. So my friend, Calvin, works at In N Out. He's like, why don't you say Is he that? your friend? What's his name? Calvin. Oh, Calvin. Calvin Ryan. Oh, Calvin. Anyway, he said, um, put in an application for In N Out. So I'm like, that's pretty beast. Work a little inner outer. So I did online, say everything. Little flipper, the Bergam. Put it in, call me back. They're like, we have an interview for you on Thursday at 4.45. So I went there, did a little interview, talk a little bit. I was like, that's beast. They're like, love to have you on. Got to um, got to come back for another interview on Tuesday. So we'll see. Heck yeah, dude. Pretty beast. Yeah, you're, you're a good worker. I uh... Oh, Donnie, that is so lovely you know when they ask you a little interview question so you gotta like you gotta like you gotta, you gotta like a little exaggeration you gotta like make it up a little bit because you don't remember exactly so you gotta like like you're, you're very you're, you're truthful but you like you extend it a little bit so yeah. you it's like all right this is solid yeah you gotta but make you said known. something to me during the interview that um we found from a comedian Oh yeah, that was but funny. that was—it's such a good answer, and you I, have to like keep it. That guy probably loved. Oh, it, he was answer. laughing so hard. He was laughing. So obviously, like In and Out's very like conservative. They're very set in their values, and they yeah, Christian. They have clean cut. Yeah, they have like a a standard that they go for. So they asked me like, so In and Out they don't allow anybody to work there if you have tattoos, like at all. Like that's the, like one of the first questions they asked. They're like, do you have tattoos? And they asked me, 
And I was like, no, no tattoos. And I looked at the guy that was interviewing me. I was like, well, you don't really put bumper stickers on Ferraris, do you? Wow. He started laughing so hard. That's such a good, that's such a good answer. That's a good too. line. Dude. Yeah, it's a really good line. No, no, was laughing. Well, I'm just, uh, I hope that you get this job, dude. Oh, Donnie, thank you so much. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to get a little corona, corona. Yeah, I know it's a lot going on right now, but I'm sure they take protocol. And I mean, I don't know. Do you know what you would be doing? Would you be like taking uh, orders or would taking you be orders. like inside? Like, No, there's no inside to that one. What do you mean? It's just two lanes. But there's an inside like location where they cook the burgers and everything. Well, yeah, yeah. Together. Yeah. That's tight, dude. It's like the size of this room. That's how you get. I know. Dude, but everybody has to wear masks, so I would fucking I wear N95 for nine years. But In and Out they do so well. Like the lines are always packed. In and Out, dude, it's what a hamburger is all about, man. Dude, all they sell is burgers and fries. That's literally it. So, burgers, fries, shakes. Yeah, that's it. That's why it's easy. I feel like you don't have to like. Oh, I feel like we need such to order a, 47. Oh, it's such a good that? business model, just because like it's just like that's what we sell, and it, like if you make it good enough. People are going to buy it. What was the thing that they added to like their menu after like so long? Hot chocolate. They oh, added hot chocolate. Did they really? For like the, for like, that was the first time they did anything to the menu. But I feel like hot chocolate's very basic. It's not like well, yeah, that's some, what, exactly. like, like, they didn't introduce like a fucking wiener oh, dog. Chicken sandwich. Well, I was selling hot dogs at, <laughs> at the other day. You were, I brought that one up. Dude. So Santino... He he calls me after the interview and just to like let me know how it went and he like this is what I said for these questions blah blah blah. Then he's like, first I, of all, I realized after I left that my zipper has been down the whole time. Get, I went to go get food for my family for dinner. Like a good son I am. Wow, Santino, you're so good. Went to go pay. I was looking at my wallet on my lap. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> underwear out. Got neon blue underwear sticking out. Zippers Dude. open. <gasps> I got my zi- fucking yelling right now. I said, I wear. Oh, did I just get you with the fucking breath blast? <coughs> this is a breath blaster 3000. I'm sorry, that fucking smells like <laughs> balls. Done. I know, dude. I can smell my own. It's kind of gross. I'm sorry. I can smell my own breath Ugh. right now. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Okay. Anyway. Dude, because all when I've read, I've been drinking smoothies with milk, yogurt. Oh, even without braces or anything. Peanut butter. Even if you brush your teeth, milk, banana, and peanut butter, if you drink oh, that shit, dude. it smells like you just went it to the dumpster. It is so gross. I'm sorry. If I, I'm sorry cookies. if I blast you again, just so you know, we're, you're going to probably get blasted if probably. I laugh again. But anyways, yeah, you had your zipper down. Zipper open. And then you told me, you're like, well, you're selling little hot doggers. Selling a little hot dog, my yeah, I, was guy. Like, what, I was like, "What are you selling hot dogs at In and Out?" It's so funny because the way your mannerisms are with those braces. That's how I used to do, like, like just like the way you hold your mouth and shit. Yeah, but, okay, okay. First off, the braces are one thing, okay, and they they make me talk a little weird. But then I have this hole in my mouth, like I said, so I'm afraid to like put my tongue. Say it there. again. My, I'm afraid to put my tongue there, so I I have to like move my tongue to this side, or else I feel like I'm gonna. Break the blood blister open. It's not a blood blister. Then I have fucking Jolly Ranchers. Say it again, Donnie. I can't even do anything right now. Construction zone Z. You you know when you have to repeat yourself multiple times yeah, just so you get that. the point across? I, this is what I've been hearing for a week. Because sometimes people Jolly don't understand. Ranchers. Well, I did the same thing as little stingrays. Dude, your wisdom teeth are coming in right now, and you're like, I, I have, think I have a... What do you call it? I don't know. It's like papillitis or something. Papil- I have polyps. Like... It's when the skin, because the wisdom tooth's trying to come. Cantino, don't don't and do the this. Don't like do this. Because I fucking explained it to you. And the skin's like here. So and you're it's like, like well, it's Donnie. It's not Santino. I had happening. all four wisdom teeth come in. I had all four wisdom teeth come in. And you had braces, so we should do a little trade off. I got a fart, dude. <laughs> I you have to fart. Well, ate. don't your pro- your my brass probably smells worse than that. <laughs> We should compare. Should I'm not smelling your fart, eat. though. That's gross. You know when you need to eat? <sighs> Why didn't you eat? I had two cups of espresso. And you're wired. And right now, I'm off the wall. Vans? Surfing off the wall right you, now. Are you vans? Off the wall? So sex! Fighting! Dude, I, uh... You're gonna have to cut your hair, huh? Wow. 
if you get this, they're gonna make position, me buzz that shit like military navy seal buzzing. That shit's gonna be gone. Like shorter than yours, I think. Wow, it's gone, dude. Well, you had your hair so long for a while, and then you got that job, Americana. You had to cut it, not like drastically, but it was. You took a good. No, I feel like Americana. I feel like that's. I think that's a good length. For yeah, obviously. And then now we got we're on furlough, a little furloughment. So I grew it out a little bit. A little and surfy. now you gotta shave that shit off. Wow, if you get it. there goes my surfing career. What does it make you surf? Yeah, better? nobody fucking has long hair when they surf, dude. When I had I my long hair you and like I just my surf. dad cut this, so much better in the water. Yeah, I know it's not in your mouth and shit. It's like, fuck. but I feel like nobody gives a shit. That's the one thing about like, oh, you gotta look. No, fucking who cares a shit? I wear shoes when I surf. You wear shoes when you surf. How do you do that? Where like a little vans, and you're just surfing. They have those booties. I want to get some of those. Yeah, but that's like when you're like the water's freezing. It doesn't get below fifty nine over here. Yeah, it does in the winter. That shit gets. I'm surfing this winter. No, people were out there when I went last time, and they said that it's like freaking winter swells. That's how cold the water was. Hurricane season, boys. I'm surfing this winter. Oh, okay. are you? We should get four three. Yeah, then it's another fucking two hundred dollars, so? hundred fifty bucks for a wetsuit. Your wetsuit, you need a new wetsuit, dude. I just bought that wetsuit so I can freaking learn how to surf, and now I'm getting better and better. It, it works. I'm just gonna fucking use it until it sucks. I'm surfing this winter. Okay. Because that's how you get good when I mean, nobody's I'm down. out. I just like I you don't know want it to be like out. forty. But nobody's out. Summer, everybody wave storms. And out there, foam boards, everybody's trying to go. Yeah. When it's winter, I feel like it's like fucking just f- piping and you can just get better. Now then when summer comes and then you go down and everybody, all our family goes and we just fucking, we're just like that's carving. Only, that's the only reason. Like, obviously I love surfing. I just want to show someone. <laughs> at least I fam- show. Family members or friends, like how well we've like, what, progressed. Don't get us wrong. We still suck ass i mean i'm a beast last time we went i was a beast i'm not we still suck compared like we're okay i feel like to be we're surfing for two months three months at max i feel like we're at that what stage would you call us at dude that's like when we sur- first started playing guitar why not we blew but what's like our the first few months sucked dude i couldn't even do a fucking c chord mm. <laughs> what's what are you doing what, what is this? this? You're trying to like. When I get hurt, I will take pli- pliers and take the brackets off. So don't, yeah. don't fuck with me right now. I'll take you to Seal Beach and we'll just go in the Stingray Bay. Wow, you think that's funny? It is actually. What? What's this? What's what, what are trying to placement are we at? Okay, so there's beginner. I said that weird. Beginner. There's beginner. Then there's beginner intermediate. Then there's intermediate. It's like we're beginner, intermediate. Then there's intermediate. intermediate, advanced, and then there's advanced. I'm I'm pro. So I think, me personally, I think I am actually an I think advanced. I'm, I think I'm beginner, intermediate. Like yeah, I think I'm in between beginner and intermediate. Beginner, intermediate. Not beginner and intermediate. Beginner, intermediate, and intermediate. Beginner and beginner, intermediate. You're in between those two. You're between. Beginner and beginner yeah. slash intermediate. You're yeah. in between those. Yeah. I think we're in between there. I th- I personally, I'm I. I think I'm in between beginner and intermediate. I'm better than intermediate. You. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> well, last time we went is closeout, so I can't do anything there. And then but you children have to looking agree. at me. I'm not saying you're bad. I'm just saying like I progress a little bit more. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying that's what it is. I'm fucking six years older than you or whatever I am. Did we even talk about the last time we went surfing on the last podcast? I don't even remember. When the kids just... <laughs> no, I don't think we did. Dude, first of all, it's close out. So you got to ride it straight sometimes, okay? you It's it's like... You can't pull in because you just get worked. We might put the footage in a vlog. So uh, if you haven't seen the vlogs... It's linked below. Some you could ride left or right, but this one I just wrote it down straight, okay? This kid is right here, 
he looks at me. You don't go under. He doesn't go under. He's like this. That's what kids do. They like freeze. Frozen. Like deer in the headlights. They like watch. They're like, oh, he's coming. It's like, all right, move. Move. And then I had to jump off. Board smacked him. So that's not mine. Try to get out of the way. So I don't know. I don't do sometimes. Piss me off. Yeah, I went when we went last time too. There were some kids that were just they were they were decent, but like they just kept they were like right in our way. It's like, dude, well, like that's like you to them to the people that are good. I wasn't in their way though. I dropped it on one dude and I felt so, so bad. He and was I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like I didn't I didn't see him at all. And then he just he didn't say anything. And I'm like, oh, I was just telling my buddy like not to drop in on people. And I did the same thing. Like my bad. Like I honestly didn't see you. And I apologize a third time. He didn't say shit. Because he doesn't care about you. But I'm like, dude, like, I- I'm apologizing. If someone did that to me, I'd be like, it's all it's all good, man. Yeah, like, people are ass holes. Like, I get it if you don't apologize. Yeah. And you're not courteous. Obviously, like, I didn't mean to do it. Yeah, you did, Donnie. You meant to ruin his clip. They're trying to get footage for their sponsors. You want to get breath blasted? No, it smells. Please don't do that. Don't do that. No. Do you ever purposely just sing bad? I I anytime on this podcast when I'm singing, I like purposely like Yeah, you just say that good. so they don't think you're really that bad. He sings asshole no matter what. Well, I mean some people have seen dude, us. Dude, I want to play shows seen again. Seen us play dude. exactly. Dude, I went so I went surfing with a couple of my friends. They wanted to learn how to surf, so we went down to um, Redondo. Oh my gosh, you're a surf instructor now, Santino? You know how much you get paid for that shit? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to surf, so I was trying to teach him. It's kind of, it's, it's more... It's, let, it's, me, let me tell you something. Okay, I'll let you tell me. I don't think you understand. I, okay. When you try to teach somebody how to surf, you can't. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to teach. Like, it's trying to teach somebody how to buy surf. You, you just got to do it. Like, you can push him into waves and stuff. I try as hard as I can to teach him. I don't... I'll try to, like, tell him to do stuff. But at the end of the day, surfing, you have to do it. So, here's the thing. I think if you know someone that's trying to learn how to surf or that can surf, it gives you confidence going into the water, being like, okay, at least they can give me some pointers or, like, they can be here to show me what I'm doing wrong. If you're going in alone, you can't... Like we did. We kind of just learned and we just went by ourselves because we were scared... Yeah. To watch other people, like, watch us surf. Uh-huh. But I think if you have someone that you know and trust, like, yeah. it gives you a little bit more confidence. Because it's like, oh, they got, it. like... Because it's not so much about, like... Me. It's like, about them teaching me. Yeah. I don't know. I tried. We are supposed to go again um, pretty soon. But it's hard to teach, like, anything like that. Like that. Whoa, yeah, I can I just had, that. like, a fucking stroke. <laughs> but it's hard to teach anything like that, you know? Yeah. Like, even, like, skateboarding. You got to do it. You just got to do it. Oh, that's true. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. We went... Um, where was I... T- I don't know where I, this was going. Dude, I had something to say no, to you. what was I, I talking gonna about? I was going to interrupt you and I No, forgot. what was I talking about? You were talking about teaching people how to yeah, surf. Yeah, but what were we talking about before then? I don't know. I, I was going to say something too and then you cut me off wow. completely. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't remember. Dude, this one tooth I have right What was here, I going to say? I don't know, bro. Hold on, it's coming back, it's coming back, it's yeah. coming back. Oh, yeah. we we're talking about playing live. Yeah, so playing live shows. So when we were down there, um, we kind of spent the day down there. And um, there's like this little, it was in Redondo. And we went to Hermosa, I think it's next to it. Anyway. Your sister? Isn't it Hermosa? Or, no, that's Hermana. What? Wow, that's bad. My sister? Spanish, Hermana. Oh, that's Hermana. I don't know. Why. Hermana. Hermana. Hermosa. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Isn't Hermosa a type of drink? Oh, that's what? a mimosa. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? Mimosas, I We're feel like... We're like all over right I feel now. like mimosa gives you stomach ache, dude. That's a lot of sugar in that son of a bitch. Yeah, there's a lot going on in that drink. Dude, that's orangey champagne. <laughs> I feel like you get headache. All right, continue. You're okay. down in Hermosa. You're watching fucking... Anyway, so we put on masks... Put on respirator and 95. I didn't want to get sick. So they ate at the places. I didn't touch shit. I hate wearing a mask for that long. I don't care. Okay. I like, didn't eat. Oh, you can't breathe. I didn't eat shit. 
I didn't touch anything. I had hand sanitizer. I had masks. For 10 hours, I was wearing an N95s. Anyway, there's this, there's this like little outdoor place where the eating and shit. I stood in the corner. Um, there was this chick play a little plinga plinga, la guitarra. Dude, that shit brought us back. I know. Brought me back to when I was freaking, when we played. Dude, I want to. Can I, I wanna, talk? I want to play too. We were scrolling through a bunch of videos last night. So beast, dude. Of like all the shows we've played. Ah, dude, it like, it made me want to play. Give you a little sentiment. Even I didn't like stagecoach we were watching, you know? I know. We didn't even get to go to that shit this year, dude. Yeah, so I was I was so excited to bring Santino wow. um to stagecoach this year just because it's like my favorite thing. It's like a whole weekend full of country, like I don't know, it's just it's so fun. Freaking it's three ZZ days of talk. just like forgetting about everything and just like country and just having a good time and just enjoying one another, you know what I mean? ZZ Top was supposed to be there this year too. Yeah, isn't, it's a pretty beast lineup, but maybe now this next coming year they'll have a, more people. like a better lineup than ever. Yeah, because it's like this big thing. I feel like a lot of people are gonna go though. I yeah, don't get I sick really, much. I just really hope it happens. I just don't want to get sick. I mean, I don't either, but I hope they maybe come out with a vaccine or something to like slow this little Corona down. Dude, Corona I, Del Mar. I, where is that? Is that off Newport? I think, yeah, it's Newport and like in it's between like, Laguna and like Newport. Yeah, down. Is it Corona Del Mar or Vista Del Mar? It's Corona. Corona Del Mar. There's like whales and that's where they go. Whale. There's like rocks in the Are water. Are you in though. Australia? Wales? Is, it Wales? is that Wales in Australia? I think that's in Britain. Is that Britain? England? Where's Wales? They're in the ocean, but like. <laughs> Dude, a whale is a son of a bitch sometimes. Is that what they do? Baleen whale. Their teeth are straws. They don't put braces on them. Dude, I've... So, whales are massive. They're a bit... You know, did you ever do this in middle school? Where you put... You know what I'm talking about? You compare the sizes? No. Oh. Maybe <laughs> you do that still. You compare your sizes. No, I, I don't mean, do You that. compare the whale sizes to different objects. Like, they compare like... <laughs> You compare your size. That's <laughs> they compare like a blue whale to like a bus, and they I'll have to leave like, now. It's like ten buses equals a blue whale. No, we got a bunch of tarps. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what I said in there. Donnie likes to compare sizes. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, continue. We got a tarp. We got a. We got a tarp. No, no. We, <laughs> Why do you yell so loud? Maybe I'm yelling because I'm looking at your mouth. Okay, <sighs> we got a tarp. We got like a bunch of those tarps and we duct taped them together and we got a blower and we put it and we would blow it up and it was the size of a whale and we would sit inside it. Well, I used to do that when I was in elementary school, like a big parachute. No, this is different. It was like the rainbow, like s triangular squares, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And then you just like go it's under it. huge. But this is different. It's like on three, everybody lift. One, but I'm two, talking about three. We used to make a whale and go inside the whale. Are you guys well? <laughs> We're whale. <laughs> We're, oh. <laughs> Your breath smells like mm. bad. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Dude, the microphone is I like, just have to The microphone right now is like <laughs> Like I can just face them and talk to them, but I it's feel fine. like if I talk to you It's okay, Donnie. It's okay, Donnie. We're well. I had bad breath when I had braces. I used to eat cliff bars and have braces. That was like, dude. A lot of crap could just stuck in here. I had a cheese stick last night. Cheese stick, string cheese. Cause Who the okay, fuck is the whole entire stick, string cheese. There you go. I just fucking busted up in my mouth. I feel. Ah, oh, that hurt. <laughs> Anyways, I had a whole liquid diet yesterday. I was starving last Have night. Have you shit yet? Yeah. You probably gonna shit out your brain. No, it was actually it was normal. But anyways, whole liquid diet throughout the day. Probably, I was so start. Have you ever just had liquid? It's like you don't eat anything. It's like drinking a bowl it's like of water. Like fucking just drinking water all day. <laughs> I had to get some type of solid, so I just munched on the string cheese. Do you do you peel the string no. cheese? Let me tell you something. If you peel a string cheese, grow up. I just bite into that shit. If you peel string cheese, with your fingers grow up? There's people that I used to work with that um they used to get pissed that I wouldn't 
tear the string cheese off and eat it like that. It's such a stupid waste of time. Just eat the damn thing. Yeah, it's just like freaking bite on you it. You gotta get touch it with your fingers, all that. No. Just yeah, eat I it. just peel back the plastic and, and I, I don't even have to wash my hands and I just like I eat boom. It. It's all done. Stupid. If you dude, I'm telling you, if you peel string cheese, are you six? Are you in kindergarten? You know how much dairy I've had in the last few days? A lot of dairy. You should open up a uh, I might as farm. well just buy a freaking cow. What's your name? Betsy? Yeah, Betsy Ross. <laughs> Dude, imagine just having a cow as a pet. You know, it would be cool to have chickens. That's what you said. Roosters and chickens. Why are you like roosters? Dude, because it's like, all right, what are we going to have for breakfast? You're like we fowl? We go out and you just gather some eggs. Pea fowl? And you're just like, all right, we're going to cook up a mean breakfast with some fresh eggs. Just You just shit out. They don't shit out Well, eggs. I know they don't shit them out, but like fucking, they just lay them. I want to see a rooster lay, a rooster. They, I don't think don't roosters lay, lay an Chicken egg, Chicken Donnie. lay an egg. There's a rooster sitting on a house. Rooster laid an egg. What side of the house does it roll down? Uh, yeah. Roosters don't lay eggs. Roosters don't lay fucking eggs. So don't. Sorry. You like playing with cords too? It's just like this so little thing. So in this episode, I put the cord underneath this microphone. Yeah, I'm a little fidgety. So I don't fidget with shit. And now I'm like crossing my arms and like playing with my fingers. Mm. Anyway. Well, when usually when someone says anyway, they continue on with I a don't. question or a topic. Mm. And you just said anyway and then you just sat there like this. Because I forgot what I was saying. I didn't eat that I like I said That's before. That's your fault. Why would you come over here? To try to I have. <laughs> Why would you come over here to, to record a podcast and not eat breakfast? Speaking about breakfast, that outdoor barbecue that we're doing is litty. It looks really good. Let me good. tell you, I poured concrete. It was 102 yesterday. Humidity, 49%. Well, and we had that fire going on. Dude, Fires in the West Santa Ana. Let me tell you what I felt. It looked like we were on Mars, because there was no clouds in the sky. It was completely clear. It was, it was just the smoke from the fire. just and the black smoke rises from the fires we've been told. Is that Greta Van Fleet. Heard? Greta Van Fleet. I used to call him Greta Van Fleet. I used to call him Fleek. It's on Fleek, bruh. I used to call him Led Zeppelin too, but then you know. They kind of grew on me, but we poured that countertop at six during the morning, woke up so early. You're just like this pouring concrete. We yeah, took off the forms what today. directions up. We took off the forms today. Looks bomb. Looks beast. I got to check it out. Cause yeah, I saw you guys poured the, the, the brick on top of the barbecue and then, uh, poured the brick. Yeah. I, I said, put the brick. You don't, do you pour brick? You don't, no, you said pour brick. No, I said put brick. Oh, okay. Maybe with my braces, it's a little change of verbiage. Anyways, uh, yeah, I saw the brick laid and then, uh, all the stucco, like the second layer. And, uh, Around yeah, I haven't. I saw the concrete laid, but I didn't see the forms taken off, so I didn't see the final yeah, so productivo. We're almost done, dude. It, it's been a little bit of a project. Just because we've been doing it on the weekends, if we did it like in total days, it would probably have been like yeah, but, 14 days. But for the also, total. too, it's so much cheaper for you guys to do it. Obviously, it's a lot of labor, yeah. but it looks bomb, dude. You guys are really good at it. Yeah, thank you, senor. You're so welcome. But So all we have to do now is polish those countertops with like that diamond bit. Polish those slurry it um put the final top coat of stucco the color coat and then plug in the appliances and then we're ready for some grill action. yeah and if you don't invite me over for the first uh grill that you do we're gonna have a i'm not bit. coming over again i gotta get me some for the grill i gotta get me some nike air monarchs my dad dude, shoes dude those are cooking mean burger grills dude if they ain't wearing those on fourth of july i'm not eating dude, i gotta get i think me some. i should steeze in some of them just rock them. Steez in some of them. I don't even know what I meant by that. I never used that term ever. Your terminology changes on here sometimes. Yes, because sometimes like... So dank, man. 
Because it's like, sometimes, you know, sometimes you hear words. Yeah, and then you just decide to use them. And you try to, to fit them. them in shit. You know, like when, like, parents try to, like, like use s- words. Your mom uses swag. When my, No, that was back, like, when was swag cool? Like, 10 years know. ago? I never used Dude, swag. Dude, she used to be like, that's swag. And I'm like, okay, mom. No. <laughs> don't do that. Have you seen those TikToks with, like, the grandparents? And they're like, that drip goes dummy hard. Yeah, on TikTok. <laughs> She was pretty fucking funny. They're like, all right, Grandma, say this. That fit goes dummy hard. No cap. No cap. Like, it's so funny. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. I'm having problems right now. Yeah, it looks like you're struggling with goggle. My tongue's on this side of my mouth still. Am I talking? I'm talking weird, huh? Yeah, it sounds, it sounds like you got a mouthful of marbles. Have you ever done that? Have you ever put like a bunch of grapes in your mouth? Have you done like the chubby bunny challenge? Do you like grapes in your mouth? Do you know like you the- can pair size and you like grapes. You know what, Santino? I'm tired of your shit, okay? Have you ever done that, the chubby bunny challenge? Yeah, though? I tried to do that one time. I choked. Almost died. Dude, think speaking about almost choking and dying, how was the other that night? That was you. That I don't understand. So that was when I first got my braces on, the first day. I'm like, all right, we're going to eat some minestrone, a little Italian style. My grandpa cooked it up. I, he's like, oh, let's put some... A little pepperoncino, a little hot chili pepper, flakes. Hot chili flakes in there. I'm like, uh, I don't know if I should do that. I'll put them in. Put them in. Well, because you I'm inhaled. I'm like five bites into it. You inhaled it. And then all of a sudden... And then... Uh, dude, that thing, that pepper was stuck to the throat. Yeah, a little... PGD dude got I stuck back there. I almost threw up everything I had. I couldn't breathe. Well, don't. I've done that. I've put it on a pizza before. And then I've like, you know when you take a bite and you accidentally like, like inhale yeah. before you take the bite? It sucked it like a vacuum to the back of my throat. I was like. Huh? That's how mine felt. Because it was like stuck, but also burning because it was hot as shit. I, my hole. eyes were freaking watering. I was just like, oh, this is not good. And then you had braces and holes in your mouth. So it added. This episode is a lot of talking about your mouth. Yeah. My what what can my mouth do? My mouth. Are oh, you British? No, bruv. My mouth, bruh. Hey bruv. Hey bruv. Why do they do that shit? What's that one song? Put a little faith in me, yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what was Chop that? Chop check on TikTok. Dude, TikTok's gone and pretty soon it's like forty five more days. You keep saying that. It's not gone. Where did it go? It didn't go anywhere. It's still, you open your phone, it's still there. Hickory dickory dock. Uh, the mouse went up the clock. We've been listening a lot. I've been listening personally. A lot of Italian music lately. Sometimes I go in like cycles. Like it's like cycles that happen. Like on your bike or? <laughs> <laughs> like oh, cycles in my music. Like sometimes I listen to a lot of, I go from like reggae to a little classic rock to a little country. Country and Western. Country and Western. And then I go to a little... Like, right now, I'm in a little Italian music. Sometimes I'm into Italian music. I like it a little I bit. I wish I could understand Italian, because then it would give more meaning to the songs. I like a little Italian. But, but you have... There's Italian songs where they have English, but they have, like, a little... Yeah, it's the... Uh, it's like the Frank Sinatra, the Dean Martin, stuff like that. Arriva dierci Roma. Goodbye. Or, I mean, even people that are not Italian know when the moon hits Goodbye. your eyes like a bigger pizza pie. That's a morning city of a million warm embraces, city of a million moonlit faces. Dominic the donkey. That's like Christmas. Hee-haw. Hee-haw. They do that in the song. They do that shit. Oh. Dominic the donkey. I like time music sometimes. We were yeah, coming cool. up with a little song. It's like, like little... you have to be in a mood though for it, you know? Sometimes it sounds like you're in the Matterhorn ride in Disneyland. <laughs> like I was driving with you and we we're just cruising to it. It was cool. Like you just like sitting little... vibing. Or like you're in a mood where like you're with I our like family. it when it's like closer to like the holidays. And it's like nighttime, it's a little chilly Rihanna outside. Yeah, it's like... And a, you put a little it's bit, a, it's like a little sentimental. It's a total vibe. A little sentimental. Isn't that, isn't that a song? Check. Sentimental me or some shit? 
It's like Nona's like one of Nona's song, favorite Aldila? songs. Aldila? I don't know. Jerry Vale, dude. That dude's a stud. Let me talk to you about getting Jerry Vale. Get a little. Have you ever seen Goodfellas? Um, I see. If you haven't seen Goodfellas, Casino, or The Godfather, so I've seen Godfather and I've seen Casino. I don't okay. know if I've seen Good. Is Goodfellas? It's still like Casino oriented, right? Yeah, it's with De Niro. Um, that one. What's that dude's name? Yeah, I have seen it. I have seen What's it. What's that dude's name? The freaking. I don't know. That's like when the fucking teapot goes off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's just. Do it. It's like your the water's boiling. Get your tea bag. And you just want to fucking punch that tea bag in the the pot in the face. I've never used one of those. You've never used a teapot. No. Those are lit, fam. I've never used one. I don't drink tea. I said that's British people. Well, see, like we don't. I don't have a microwave here, so we don't put anything in the microwave. So, in order to boil water, you have to do it on the stove. But with a pot, pot. No, it's like a teapot. A tea kettle. Yeah. Does it actually whistle? I've never used one. A little little shimber dimber. Little, little pee hole, you can piss out of, and it just high pitch noise. Yeah, I never use one. Dude, speaking of high pitch noise, high pitch, high pitch, high bitch, you fucking bitch, you bitch, high bitch, high bitch, you bitch. No, you bitch. I I like a poo poo caca pee pee boy. Anyways, speaking of high pitch noises. The neighbors next Dude. to our grandparents' house have this high pitch animal bullshit. Dish- well, not a no no can't hear it. Tractor, what the fuck is it called? It's for the peak fowl. Okay, who the fuck says pea fowl? <laughs> for the peacocks, bro. For the peacocks. It's supposed to, like, deter. Yeah. You know what this lady did? That thing is Nani so was annoying, me. and they can't hear it, though, because, like, the older you get, you can't hear the pitch. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead. It's so annoying, dude. It's like the light flash, and he goes, it's like a dog whistle, and they can't hear it, so it doesn't bother them. It blasts me. Yeah, it's so but lovely. Nani was telling me that she went to the store one time, and this lady in front of her had just like gallons of hot sauce. And you know, Nani always asks, "She's like, why?" I mean, have- I would, <laughs> I would wonder the same damn thing. Like, why do you have so many? Ga- like, why do you have so much hot sauce? She put it on her grass. This lady would put it on the grass so the peacocks wouldn't go on the grass. That does bother. That, does that work? That bothers me. I don't know. She said she'd go home and dump it on the grass so the peacocks don't go on the grass. I know that sounds like a stupid idea, but that's actually kind of Okay, and then when smart. you walk on the grass, you just got like sauce everywhere. Well, don't walk on the grass in the front. <laughs> One time my dad, you know like the fertilizer? Not like... um cow shit fertilizer but yeah like, like the, the pellet bullshit the pellets and like the little rotisserie thing that's what are you gonna cook some chicken rotisserie so anyway my dad was putting on there and, his, and this lady was walking down the street and she's like oh what are, what are you putting on the grass my dad didn't give a shit he says he's like yeah this is so when the children walk on the grass it burns their feet <laughs> <laughs> that's so she funny, walked away dude. so fast Dude, your dad said some funny shit to neighbors just to like see yeah, what they would say. Like, <laughs> piss them off. Because some of it's not true either. Obviously, well, he yeah. just says it to say it to see what their reaction is. We so were in, funny. Like, we were all in that. Oh my god, we're in a drought. We're in a drought. No fucking. There's no drought. Okay. We were in that drought. They said. Oh, we got a lot of rain. We're there. Italian. We water the driveway. Yeah, Italians wash everything down. Hose. We wash the hot side of the house down with the hose. We water the Everything, driveway. Everything, car, driveway, grass. We need clean. Windows, anything, you know. You, Hose. I mean, I'm surprised we don't bring it inside the house and start freaking. That's a pretty good idea. Anyway, we hose everything down. So one day we were in the drought, they said. Everybody, conserve. Oh, quote, unquote. Quote, unquote. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to watch that vlog. It's so funny, my grandpa. He thought it was like an Italian thing. He's like, oh, but he cool. doesn't go like this. He goes, he goes, quote unquote, quote unquote. And I'm like, no, no, what does that even mean? He's like, oh, uh, it's I've, Italian. It's Italian. My sister says my it. Sis- I'm like, no, no. It means like you're quoting someone. Anyway, 
Like you're, Queen. isn't that what it means? Yeah, quote like, unquote. Like, yeah, Donnie. Donnie's. I was down. I was at Donnie's house the other day, and he said, he said, quote, quote unquote. unquote. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Got, why, why are you playing with Velcro? Okay, what what were we talking about? Mm, 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 mm. We were hosing, He was hosing down the driveway, and there's a drought. Dude. Loud. Lady came up to him. He's like, "You shouldn't be uh, watering the driveway because we're in the drought. We gotta save water." My dad's like, "Oh yeah, well you know, I stopped taking showers instead." <laughs> <laughs> Lady got so pissed. Dude, honestly, you you do use a lot of water in the shower. If you think about it, sometimes I take long showers. Yeah, but I feel like it's less water. Than you ever you okay? Do you ever wake up in the morning and you're so fucking tired? And you just go in the shower, and, and, you and you're, just like, you're just like sit, sitting there, like or you like lean up against the wall. Cause you gotta think. And you're just like, all right, I gotta wake up right now. And you're not <laughs> awake. You just have water. That's why I take cold in the morning. In the morning, I do not use the hot nozzle. My water doesn't get cold. Your water. I've taken a shower here before, off the beach and shit. Your water is like third degree okay, burn. Okay, so your water is you have talk hot. about tea kettles. That shit just got off the kettle. You have no direction. It's either pipers piping, scalding hot, or it's like, or it's like it's lukewarm, like, tepid. Yeah. Do you have two knobs? Though? No, I have a single knob. Our older shower used to have double. I like the double because you can control, dude. So mine, but I put all the way down. It doesn't go cold. I don't know if it's like the way it's the way my shower situated, like the little yeah. shindig. I don't know. I like two knobs. We don't have that in my house. Our old shower does, but it's you can get like the right temperature sometimes, you know? Yeah, no, I feel you. It's like, oh, dude, <laughs> it's a little bit, but the new shower heads they come with that like reducer, water reducer to conserve water. It's like you're being misted. I don't do that. At Disneyland, I, we take it to the garage. I pop the thing out, and then we put we drill a hole so it comes better, and then we put it up there, and it's just like a fire hose. Sometimes misters piss me off. It's like fuck, it's <laughs> like wet me or something. <laughs> like people carry around those little fans. Like I used to get one of those. I got one. That was the biggest waste of money. Like, you buy them at Disneyland. You can just like put a bottle of water in your head or some shit. Well, Donnie, that's stupid. Yeah, I don't know. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Relax. You know, you know when it gets really hot, um, like some of the cities they have like misters. That's exactly what I was talking about about Disneyland. Yeah, but some of the cities like they set up misters in the park for you. Yeah, that's stupid. Just go home. Go in the shower. Misters like in the it. park. Mm-hmm. First off, if you're running around in the park. Do you, have you ever, I don't really go to. I don't park. go to parks. <laughs> parks and Rec. It's a funny show. I don't. Th- the last time I've been to a park, I don't even remember. I just play in the backyard and front yard. I don't know. Park. I like when I was little. I used to go more, but now we used what to do that do? a lot. Though when we were younger, they had all these park like gatherings with barbecues and yeah. shit. That was fun. Now nobody really does it anymore. Yeah, it's just like I don't know. I've been in a couple. I'd rather just like have a thing at my house. Have a thing at my house. Would you rather go to a barbecue at a park or just go like come over to my house? We'll have a bonfire and we'll just like, I don't know. You know what I mean? I go to the park. Then, you know, I will f- destroy you. <laughs> Play smash ball. Is my breath still smell bad? Yes. It smells like ass. How do you know what ass smells like? Well, I have one. Do you? It's like when people say, I have an asshole. You know what I'm talking about? What? When they say, like, uh, everyone has an excuse. I don't know what you're talking about. An excuse is like an asshole. Everybody has one? Everybody has one? Oh, well, you could have said that. Sorry. You're like, you know when you say, oh, and I got an asshole. Is that a new shirt, by the way? No, I just found it in a drawer. I'm kind of digging it. Oh, you it's like, like going little, back to like O'Neal, like, like freaking little, surfer that's my, dirt that's for my days? wetsuit brand. Get out of here! I'm sponsored. You're sponsored. My wetsuit brand, dude. Why don't you tell them about the dream you had? Let me tell you, that was beast. We talk about surfing a lot. I guess we're really into surfing lately. But that dream. 
You know when you have a really vivid dream and you wake up and you're like, holy shit. Like, I've been was, having a lot of those recently. Like you're like, that shit was happening right now. First of all, we go to the Americana. <laughs> Is that like a dramatic pause to start the dream? First of all. Anyway, first of all, we go to the Americana. Okay. We go to the Americana. We talk with our hands a lot. I know. We? We're, we're tying. We go to the Americana. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. We get out to a curbside. They're doing like a valet thing. We drop off the car. They take the car. We're walking. They re- what, what car were we driving? Do you I don't remember? Know. I don't know. Like a Tahoe or whatever. It, was, oh, it, was, it wasn't mine. It was like someone no, else's. No, someone else's car. We were driving it. We get there. They drop off the car. We start walking into like the, what's that called? Like the park area? Yeah. Like the green. The yeah, grass. the green. Yeah. Anyway, they redid it. They had a pool. In the middle of the grass. In the middle. They had a pool. They had rocks, everything. So you're like, oh, let's go see, Santino. Let's go climb. I'm like, okay. So we start climbing the rocks. I fall off the rocks. Break my hand. My hand's like this. You didn't tell me this. Yeah, I did. My hand's oh, yeah, like... You, my you hand's like, mentioned it. My hand's like this. You're like, oh, we need to go to the hospital, everything. I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. We got to go surfing because we got to go. So... We oh, get in the car. <laughs> I hurt my wrist surfing actually, and my wrist hurts right now. That hurt. All right, go ahead. Continue. We get back in the car. We go to the beach. We go to the wedge. It's like the biggest swell of like the year. Uh-huh. Okay, it's like twenty foot. You're like twenty foot. That's massive. Dude. You're like this. That's bigger than the wedge ever is. No, it was twenty foot Fourth of July. But go it was ahead. like Fourth of July. It was like the same size. And you're like, this is what we gotta do. We're like, this is the only time we're ever going to be able to go. I'm like, I'm nervous right now. It's we're so gonna get funny because I would never, ever go into that big, ever. Yeah, me either. Never. Anyway, we get there. We get our boards. We're on the sand. We're like, dude, you're like, all right, I'm paddling out. I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. So you paddle out and I'm still on the sand and you get out there and you're like telling me to come. And you're like, it's fine. Just get out of here fast. So I'm like, fuck it. Paddle out. And we're out there and we're waiting. You're like, all right, I'm taking the next one. I'm like, you son of a bitch, you're going to die. You take it, you take the drop, you ride it in the barrel, you get out of it. You're like screaming, you're psyched, you're on sand. I'm like, all right, I got to take one. This is going to be the only time in my life. Take one, same thing, in the barrel, come out of it. We get on the sand. Rip Curl, Neil, everybody's taking pictures. They're like, oh, you got to sign with us. We're going to sponsor you. And we we're walking. We're like, yeah, we don't do that. We're not into that. We just serve for fun. We don't. Weird dream. That is dude. so funny, dude. Weird dream. It was like so real. Can it you imagine that being sponsored by them? That's beast. And then we were stupid. We're like, yeah. You're like, oh, no, we just do this for fun. We like, don't want to get sponsored. Fuck out of here. I'll get sponsored. That's crazy. That's so funny. You know, th- some dreams are just like weird. Yeah. Like they're so. But like when you're in them. It's like that. I want to It's go like back. so real. There's some dreams that are cool. Like that one was cool, but then there's some dreams that are like that's I don't like. Yeah. No, I feel you. I don't like it. Oh, hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello, hello, we are filming a podcast at this podcast moment. Podcast right now. I'm going down to the beach. Well, have fun. Okay. You want to say hi to the people in Probably the video? Get, wearing a wife beater. Probably gonna get coronavirus. Well, have fun. Hi. The water's probably freezing. Yeah, it's cold. Not the water, it's like 50. Yeah. I'm not going to water. I mean, the, the temperature, yeah, but the water. Have fun. Little beer dime. That's beast. Alrighty, well. well. That was my youngest brother, Mikey. Just popped in a little visitar. A little so. visitar, but um, I think we might end this podcast here because my mouth right now. Probably going to open. Um, I hope this blood clot is not open. Probably will. Anyway, that's been an episode of That Bothers Me podcast. Stay tuned for more. Patreon. That's your favorite, oh, like, Patreon are open. That's your favorite, like, um, expression. You, like, get tired and you're just like, all right, dude. Like, f- all right, we're going we're gonna to end this here. Like, uh, well, you have braces, so shut up. You're like, ah, oh, dude, we're going to You close your eyes, you're like, all right. Patreon. Yes. We, we should do this in the beginning so people... <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. We should do this in the beginning so people can like actually hear that we have a Patreon page. But uh, linked below, if you'd like to support the show, it would 
mean the world because as we said before, we love making these podcasts and um, it would just really mean a lot, lot. but we have different tiers. So um, as we said before, get the episodes early. We have a morning show. We'll post a little snippet so you guys can get a taste of what it is, but uh, we're, we're kind of liking that morning show. Pretty beast. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I thought I was going to have problems with my mouth. Oh, that's <laughs> oh I hate that. Well, anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Chivadiamo. Peace out. Laters. Laters. <laughs>